I get asked all the time, what is Amazon FBA? Is it saturated and can you still make money in 2019 with all the recent changes? So in this video, I'm gonna answer all of your questions and give you an introduction to all the steps on how you can get started selling on Amazon as a beginner from scratch. But first, my name is Crescent. Now if this is our first time meeting, welcome to my channel. My passion is sharing tips and strategies on how you can create a successful Amazon FBA private label business. So if you enjoy videos like this, or especially if you've been around my channel, consider subscribing. All right, let's get started. So first, what is Amazon FBA? Amazon FBA is fulfillment by Amazon. What that means is you ship the products you wanna to sell to Amazon and Amazon will store all of your inventory and fulfill all of your orders. They'll pick, pack, and ship your products each time someone buys your product. What makes this such a powerful business model is that you get to access Amazon's millions of customers and you don't have to ever see or touch your products. And the one thing I wanna clarify is that Amazon FBA isn't drop shipping. Drop shipping is where you don't actually own any inventory. You have to build your own website, advertise your products to drive traffic to your website, and place each order each time with your supplier to have them ship your products directly to your customers. Whereas Amazon FBA is where you private label your own products. That means you find generic products and put your own brand on them and you use Amazon's platform to sell your products. Amazon's platform gives you access to millions of customers. As you can see here, in 2019, Amazon surpassed 100 million Prime members and Amazon handles all of the orders and fulfillment for you. And as far as saturation is concerned, if you compare those numbers to how many sellers there are, Amazon only has 1.7 million sellers that actually have a product listed for sale. That's less than 2% of the number of buyers. So Amazon is far from being saturated. So who can sell on Amazon? Well, anyone from anywhere in the world can sell on Amazon in any Amazon marketplace. There's Amazon marketplaces all over the world, such as in the US, Canada, Mexico, Germany, UK, Japan, and Australia, with the US marketplace being the largest, which is why I suggest starting your Amazon business in the US marketplace. The only stipulation Amazon has is that you must live in one of the approved countries on this list. Basically, only a few parts of Africa are not on this list. Otherwise, you shouldn't have a problem selling on Amazon. So the first step to selling on Amazon is finding viable products to sell. The key is to find products that are in high demand but have low competition. One of the biggest mistakes I see beginners make is not following this rule and this is the most important aspect that will determine whether or not you'll be successful. You can't just sell any random product and hope that it'll do well. Anyone can find a product that's selling really well, but finding niches that also have low competition is difficult. We base the level of competition on the number of reviews the listings have, and you don't want to enter a niche where you're competing against listings that have hundreds or thousands of reviews. Think about it. When you're buying a product and you see one listing that has tons of reviews and another listing that has no reviews or very few reviews, which product are you gonna buy? Luckily, there are product research tools that help us with this. The product research tool that I use is called Jungle Scout, which you may have already heard of or already using. In my opinion, it's by far the most powerful, easy to use and accurate tool out there and it's what most of my students use. As you can see, if we're looking at can openers, the tool pulls up all the data in one convenient window for you to quickly and easily analyze the niche to see if it's viable, such as the total sales, revenue, and reviews. Now, if you wanna learn more about how to do product research correctly, I have tons of videos on my channel, and I'll link one of those videos here, as well as leave links in the video description below. I'll also leave a link in the description for a deeply discounted coupon for Jungle Scout. Now, Another major mistake beginners make is not making sure that you're even allowed to sell the product you find. Amazon has restrictions for certain products and categories. Some products require a review process to sell, such as magnets or anything that requires batteries, whereas others are outright prohibited, like lockpick sets or alcohol and tobacco related products. Some categories also require permission before you can sell in those categories. So it's important that you know ahead of time before you invest any money on a product that you're allowed to sell it. 
This also includes patented and trademark products. I've seen too many beginners invest thousands of dollars into a product only to find out after that they can't sell it. I'll also leave links to videos in the video description below on this topic if you want to learn more about it. Once you've found a viable product, the second step is finding a supplier to manufacture it. The best place to find suppliers is on a website called Alibaba. It's a huge resource of suppliers where you can find a manufacturer for pretty much any product on the market. You can easily see what the suppliers offer, the relative prices, contact them, get quotes and samples, see whether they're verified or not, how many transactions they've done, and their reviews. I actually have detailed videos on how you can find and contact suppliers, including a free email template they can download and use to contact suppliers so that you sound professional and get all the necessary information in the initial email, which I'll leave a link to in the video description below. Now, once you've decided on a supplier, in order for them to start manufacturing, you'll need to pay them a deposit of around 30 to 50%. I don't suggest ever paying 100% upfront. You want to give them incentive to deliver your products on time and meet your quality requirements, which also leads to the importance of having an inspection done. The small cost of having an inspection done outweighs the potential of ending up with a poor quality or inferior products. You never know if the supplier might have sent you a high quality sample, but manufactured products that are of less quality, or if there's simply some miscommunication, or if something went wrong during the manufacturing process. And only once your product passes the inspection, then pay the remaining balance that you owe. A pro tip here is to negotiate with your supplier that if the products fail the initial inspection, that not only did they have to fix the problem, but they should pay for any subsequent inspections. And make sure you have the inspection done at the supplier's warehouse. Never ship your products to yourself to inspect. Once it leaves your supplier's warehouse, it's infinitely more difficult and expensive to have any problems resolved, especially if you're in another country. So once your product is done, you'll ship your products directly to an Amazon fulfillment center. So as you can see, what's so powerful about FBA is that you never actually have to see or touch your products. Now, before you can actually start selling, the third step is creating a product listing. The key to having a successful product is making sure that you have a fully optimized listing. That means you have the best professional photos to show off your product and communicate all of its benefits and features and doing thorough keyword research so that your listing is keyword optimized for Amazon search algorithm. The best keyword research tool that I use is called Keyword Scout from Jungle Scout. It gives you the most comprehensive and thorough keyword results. As you can see here, if we're doing a can opener, not only does it give you keyword results with the seed keyword in it, like electric can opener or manual can opener, but it's smart enough to find keyword phrases related to the seed keyword, like lid lifter or tin opener. It also lets you do unlimited reverse ASIN searches where you can get the keywords that your competitors are using. I have a detailed video here if you wanna learn more about creating an optimized listing. Step four is launching your product. When you have a brand new product, when someone searches on Amazon, your listing is typically on the last few pages of the search results. And this is because Amazon ranks listings in the search results based primarily on the daily sales velocity. That means the listings that have the most daily sales will generally show up higher in the search results. This is why I can't stress enough the importance of doing a proper product launch in order to get your listing ranked onto the first page. 70% of all online sales happen on the first page. Think about it. How often do you browse beyond the first or second page when you're shopping? So to get your listing ranked onto the first page, you need to match or beat the daily sales velocity of the top sellers. For example, if the top sellers are selling 10 units per day, then you also need to sell 10 units or more per day consistently for around seven to 10 days to get ranked onto the first page. And there are several ways that you can do this. You can do PPC, which is Amazon's pay-per-click advertising system. You can do giveaways and promotion deals. And there's also launch services that you can use to help you generate those initial sales. And that's it. Once you start getting sales, Amazon will take care of all the customer support, shipping your products, and the best part, every two weeks, Amazon sends you the money you've made from your sales. It's really that simple. 
So there's no reason for you to not get started now and start building your Amazon business. If you want to learn more, I have tons of free content on my channel and on my forums. I'll leave a link to the forums in the video description below. You can also post questions that you have in the comment section. I answer every single one of them. Also check out these step-by-step -step tutorials here. All right, thanks for watching. If you found value in this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And to make sure you never miss a video, be sure to click that bell icon to turn on notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.